What's up, guys? It's David coming at you from Organic Price Books with a, another exciting Omni from Marvel. They are kicking 2024 off with some really great events. We saw Devil's Reign come out soon. And now we have another really cool event. We are looking at the AXE Judgment Day Omnibus released from Marvel. And here it is. You know, I hope you're excited for it. Um, this is another one of those events. Uh, to me, I, I don't want to call them minor events because, you know, definitely some characters were impacted more than others. But I do call them, I do, I kind of, yeah, yeah like little mini events. I don't know. That, uh, what would you call them? Like Devil's Reign, this one. They're not like big, big, but they do affect like the characters. This one, for example, the characters on Earth. So um, definitely cool to see this come out so, so close after Devil's Reign. They're definitely pumping out these events, which is really cool. Uh, you know, I'm not going to complain, are you? But let me show you the two books. This is the standard right here. Here is the front. Spine. And the back. Very cool. And here is the DM. Front. Spine. And back. Very nice. Now, uh, I really love these covers. Both of them are really nice. I particularly like the outline that they did for it, where it has like that, uh, it frames it really, really well. I like that a lot. Now, I wish, obviously, I, I, I like the artwork. I wish it would show the whole thing. But the framing of it makes it look really good. Um, I really appreciate the details that they put into it, and it looks really good. My pick for this one is going to be the standard. This standard uh, artwork by Mark Brooks uh, looks amazing. Easily stands out. I think it definitely uh, encapsulates the entire event much better than the DM, even though the DM is very cool as well. I'm not going to say it's not. I, I prefer the standard. To me, this one just looks so much better, and I think it, it pops out more. Uh, you kind of get a little bit of what's going on. You see the Celestial. You don't really see a Celestial on this one. Um, and... Uh, yeah, I like that, uh, you know, it has the, the what else does it have in there? Um, all the major players, I would say, that are going to be part of this story. So that's really cool. I like that a lot. There you go. That's my pick. Let's take a look underneath the dust jacket. Oh, nice. Spreads. I love spreads. You know that when they they encompass a uh, huge moment in the, in the story. And you get to see it here like this. Boom. Great. And Avengers, X-Men, Eternals. I know I've said it before. You see Avengers versus X Men. You see Avengers versus Eternals. You see Avengers versus uh, West Coast Avengers. You see X Men versus their future selves or their past selves. So you know we're gonna get a bunch of these. You know, there you go. Now we have this one. This is nice. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at Judgment Day and see who will pass judgment. Will you? Do you think you will? Will I? I don't know. David. David. You know, I've done some things. Have I been proud of them? No. Do I regret them? No. Let's go. Let's go get judged right now. Guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the Judgment Day Omnibus. Blue, 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 blue. blue cover right there. Here you go, all the participating artists and con contributors to the book. Very cool. And of course, the characters that are going to be part of it. Uh, definitely, I, I would say you kind of do have to have a um, kind of a be keeping up with the events that's been going on with the Avengers I mean, and the X-Men during this whole thing. But um, the artwork looks great. Uh, this is, I believe, 944 pages, so it's a pretty good Omni. Not as thick as some of the big, big ones like Immortal Hulk or something, but not as thin as, you know, some of the smaller ones that we've gotten so far. So 944 is a respectable amount. Very cool. I definitely like the modern artwork as well, so that's cool. And... Uh, yeah, it looks really, really good. I like it. Semi-gloss. Pages look great. Uh, very nice. 
I like that I always appreciate semi-gloss pages compared to like well, some of the matte ones that you know DC <coughs> sticking out recently. Ugh. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and let me tell you a little bit more about this book. Uh, we are the world's new gods. The time of the old ones is over. That's what Magneto said. The X-Men have beaten death, colonized Mars, and founded the planet's most powerful nation. Meanwhile, the ancient race of godlike beings known as the Eternals have learned that their own version of immortality, immortality comes at a cost. Each time they are revived, a human life is forfeited. They are sworn to protect celestials, safeguard the machine that is Earth, and correct excess deviation. But this recent revelation has split their ranks. Seizing his moment to become Prime Eternal, the scheming Druig sees the mutant's achievement as a form of deviation, and it's his job to eradicate deviants. Uh, as Druig unleashes devastating forces, including the Eternal's behemoths called the Hex and Uranus, the Undying, the relentless grand grandfather of Thanos, the Avengers formulate plans with their mutant and Eternal allies to find a peaceful resolution to the conflict. Earth's mightiest heroes have set up home in the body of the Celestial Progenerator, which may prove the key to ending this war. But what, celestial, uh, what, but what Celestials do best is judge, and this world may be found wanting. As the X-Men, Eternals, Avengers, and all of Earth's citizens are put to the test by a cosmic arbiter, their collective worth will determine whether any of them sees tomorrow. It's not that nothing will be the same again. It's that unless they find a new way to be heroes, everything will be nothing forever. Um, so yeah, very, very much... Uh, a pretty interesting story with the Celestials, like, judging the uh, the world to see if it's worthy before, you know, they decide to kill it. So you get to see a lot of that, uh, kind of like an introspect of each character. And, uh, like, from what I've seen on some of them, it's, it's like, you know, they're put to the test. They're given a question. And uh, you get to see them each, you know, give their uh, opinion or their, their thing if they're worthy, you know? So very interesting, yeah. See, this one the Celestials like asking them questions like that. It's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty cool. A pretty interesting concept. That's what I like. You know, it's not like one big bad that they can just beat up. Even though there is fights, of course, it's definitely more of a um, introverted or uh, uh, a look inside of the heroes. What makes them heroes? You know, what things they might need to change. So very cool seeing that uh, the event come out together in the omnibus, so you can collect it. Uh, but let me know what you think of the of the actual event while I show you the extras, which are here. Which actually has a pretty good amount of extras. Look, it's, it's a pretty solid, I would say, like 40, 50 pages maybe. Peach Momoko does some really nice artwork, especially when it's not too, it uh, doesn't have to be too detailed, like very much more soft comics. I like that. Oh, wow. She did a lot of them. Very cool. I like that. Yeah, very nice. All right. I believe this is Echo, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, you let me know if you guys have started watching the Echo show on uh, Disney+. Plus and what you think about it. You know, that's actually a good question. Oh, that's cool. I like that. It's making the X. Very cool. This is nice too. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Yeah, let's see what else. Ooh, that door. Nice. Nice. Yeah, some of these artwork, some of these artists are really cool. Oh, Scotty Young, of course. <laughs> uh. Scotty Young is hilarious. I like his stuff. Let me know what you think about white, white, uh, white costume Magneto. Do you like it? Do you prefer his classic purple or maybe like his uh, his uh, black one? I know he had one. There was a yellow one he had for a while. Ah, oh, yeah, Archer, Stanley Archer. Bra, give me some of that. Curves make you swerve. Hey. But yeah, let me, listen, what do you think? If you were judged by Celestial, would you uh, pass or fail? Tell me what you think. Tell me what you you would put for yourself, you think? Um, nah, I'm okay. I don't want to be judged. I don't know. Maybe. 
David, I like this. I like this with the label in the black in the bottom. Very cool. Yeah, some of this artwork looks great. I love it. Uh, I like this. Remember, like the cards, like the X Men trading cards. Yeah. So I looked it up. I did. I do have some of these. I even have some of the Spider Man ones that are really cool. Very nice. We're getting close to the end. Let's take a look. All the different variations of Susan Storm. Very cool. I I did always like that red costume. The white one too. I just like that they're a little bit different from what we're used to. Oh, nice. So here's the uh, Eternals, you know? Or this is... It looks like Eternals almost. All right. There you go. This is the one that's on the um, the spread that's on the book underneath the dust jacket. Very cool. So there you go, guys. This is Avengers uh, X-Men Eternals Judgment Day Omnibus uh, by Marvel. Let me know which cover you're going to get. Let me know if this is something that you've been waiting for for a while. Check it out at Organic Price Books, guys, and I will see you in the next one.